And now this special feature from the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews President Yael Eckstein highlights three important recent headlines you might have missed but are crucial to understand. Shalom, my friends, from here in the Holy Land. I'm Yael Eckstein, and here are three things that you should know about Israel this week. Number one, Israel is on high alert as Iran and their proxy terrorist armies are threatening to attack Israel in an unprecedented attack. Hezbollah has said that it is going to bring the war with Israel to a new stage with thousands of rockets and suicide drones pointing towards the Holy Land. We are preparing we are praying and we are believing that light will always outshine the darkness. And ultimately, Israel will be protected. Israel will be safe. Number two, in some positive news, Israelis across the country stood together to mark Ariel Bibas's fifth birthday. Ariel is celebrating this birthday in Hamas captivity. Him and his younger brother, just one years old, together with their parents, were taken hostage from their house by Hamas terrorists on October 7th. Israelis across the country have baked birthday cakes, are blowing out candles, are releasing balloons, all with the prayer that he will be released soon back to Israel, along with the other 120 hostages. Happy birthday, Ariel. We will never stop praying and acting for your immediate return. And number three, in some fellowship news, the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews is working around the clock and against the clock in order to provide food boxes to bomb shelters in anticipation of an attack from Iran and Hezbollah. We have packed and delivered over 10,000 food boxes across Israel and especially on the borders that are most at risk. The fellowship is there to help the weakest and the most vulnerable who are in public shelters and don't have food or water. We are there to tell them that they are not alone. Well, there you have it, my friends. Those are three things that you now know about Israel this week. Join me next week, same place, same time, for more up-to-date news on what's happening in the Holy Land. Shalom.